This video is how to stake your crypto using your Ledger hardware wallet and Ledger Live. There's a few different ways to do this and it differs depending on which coin that you have. So I'll go over the different methods and actually how to go ahead and do this throughout this video. Timestamps for all of that are down in the description. Do you recommend watching the whole video though just to get an overview of how staking works with Ledger. The first thing you can do though is go to the Ledger site and just check that the crypto that you want to stake is actually supported with Ledger. So just go up to the supported coins and then you know type in a crypto that you want so for example Cardano you can see it does support staking and there's supported wallets here which I'll go through throughout the video because this is important to know. There are really two main ways to stake with your ledger device that you can use. The first is chain staking and the second is liquid staking. Both of these methods lets you keep your coins on your ledger device so that's the most secure way but both have slightly different ways of going about it and um, some pros and cons of each. Chain wallet staking as you can see here Basically, you get your coins onto your wallet and then you use the official wallet of each blockchain to go ahead and stake. So for Avalanche, that would be AVAX wallet, which I'll show you, Yoroi for Cardano, Polygon.wallet for Polygon, Phantom for Solana, um, you know, and every blockchain has its own wallet that will let you stake. You get your coins onto your ledger, then you set up the ledger with that wallet and then directly stake through that. The other way is liquid staking. As you can see here, this is a modern method of doing it where you can actually get a coin that represents your stake. You can have that in your wallet, in your ledger, and it accrues those staking rewards. The benefit of this is that um, you can actually buy and sell that token very easily. There are no lockups and you can use it through your ledger, through DeFi to actually earn higher yields and everything like that. And for some coins, it's definitely the way to go. So I'll explain the difference between these two now. The first method is really the official way of doing things, which is using the chain wallet with your ledger. So I'll go through that process now. The first thing that we wanna do is make sure that we have the wallet address set up on our ledger device. So if you haven't got a ledger yet, or you don't know how to set it up, I've got a specific guide for the ledger on how to set it up and how to get everything working. So I'll link that in the description and it goes through everything here. So I'm gonna skip through over to Ledger Live. If you've got this downloaded, go to My Ledger down at the bottom. Plug in your device, you'll have to set up your password and open up the device. And then you can see the app catalog here. So you just have to make sure you've downloaded the specific app for the blockchain that you want to use, um, whether that's Binance Smart Chain or Polygon or Cardano or whatever, go to the right hand side and then just click install and then you have that app on your device. That should set up a wallet address for you and that's the wallet address of your ledger where you want your coins. From there, you just have to go to accounts as you can see here and then just make sure that you have the account in your ledger. Now, some, um, some blockchains don't have accounts in ledger. For example, Avalanche isn't supported in ledger and so you won't be able to see your account, your Avalanche blockchain address or any of your tokens directly in ledger, but you can use it with the chain wallet so you'll have to set that up separately outside of Ledger. I'll go through that in a second. If you have a blockchain that is directly set up with Ledger and has an account in Ledger, what you want to do obviously is get some cryptos into your Ledger account with that address. So just go over to receive down here and then choose the, uh, the crypto that you wanna receive. Press continue. Now you'll have to look at the um, wallet address on your device. So if you press continue right here, the second option is the device. You'll have to confirm that on your device to open up the menu and then it will give you your wallet address. Your wallet address there is something that you can copy then go through to your exchange to actually make that transaction from your exchange. So if you had an exchange where you had some coins, you'd go to withdraw those coins, get the address from your ledger live, copy that, paste it in the address right here, and then get it from your exchange over to your ledger device. I'll leave some links to Binance and other exchanges in the description because you can get deposit bonuses if you're new. So check those out if you are interested. So with that withdrawal, you should now have coins on your ledger address and that's what you can go ahead and stake. Now, if you have a coin like Avalanche, which isn't supported in Ledger Live, then you'll have to go ahead and set up the chain wallet with your ledger. So go and download the application first on your ledger, then come to the chain wallet. So it's, um, it's Avalanche wallet for Avalanche. As I said, polygon.wallet for Polygon. Each blockchain has its own official wallet. So you wanna go ahead and download that. 
For example, on Avalanche, what you want to do once you've got your application set up on Ledger is go to Access Wallet because you already have one set up on Ledger. You already have an address and then go down to Ledger right here and it'll ask essentially to link with your Ledger. Make sure your Ledger is plugged in and open and you've unlocked it with the pin code and it should be able to link those up and then it actually gives you your Ledger address. Now, when your Ledger address is there, then you can go to your exchange like Binance and actually send it right over to the address that will be stored on your ledger device. So now we do have coins on our ledger, we're gonna to want to go ahead and stake them right through the chain wallet. So as an example with Cardano here, what we'll do is go and download Yoroi wallet. So that's the official wallet. This is a browser wallet. So again, what you need to do is download it and install it on your browser. And then from there, what you wanna do is add your Ledger device to the software wallet. So you can't do this directly with Ledger, but you need to use a software wallet, Yoroi for Cardano or the other blockchains as well. You can download the official wallet, then go to add new wallet, as you can see here, and then connect hardware wallet. Once more, just like the Avalanche that you just saw, it will link up with your Ledger and it will give you that address that links with your Ledger. So you know for sure that you've got your coins in your Ledger. I've got specific guides on staking with these wallets. I'll link them in the description. But what you can do now is go back to the wallet that you've set up. It's just a step-by-step -step process. And then go into the specific wallet that you've set up, whatever that may be. And for Yoroi's case, it's really easy. You just go over to delegation list right here. So you can click that and then you choose someone to stake with. So you can choose one of the many different validators like this, choose one of those, you can delegate. Now you'll have to accept all of the transactions on your ledger device. So when you go ahead and press delegate like this, um, you'll have to you know, pay a small blockchain fee or, or at least just um, you know, confirm the transaction on your ledger. That's the same for most other chains as well where you just have to confirm things with your ledger because your coins are on your ledger. Go ahead and stake directly with the chain wallet. Like I said, if you want a more specific guide for each of these wallets i'll link those in the description now what a lot of people do is actually use liquid staking derivatives to stake and i'll show you how to do that here it's actually much of the same process but instead of having to stake directly with the chain wallet like i just showed you what you can basically do is use ledger to buy a staking token now these exist for many blockchains now where Basically, you just go and buy the staking derivative and it's like staking, but you get a lot of benefits in that you just go and store that token in your ledger and it accrues the staking rewards for you. But the benefit is that if you ever want to get out of the staking, you can just sell it right away and there are no lockups. With Avalanche and other uh, blockchains, there might be lockups for nine days or 20 days or something like that. And so not great. So a lot of people just get a special token in their ledger device and keep that there. And I'll show you how to do that now. So what we want to do again is just make sure that we've got the app downloaded on our device, whichever blockchain that you want to use. Now, liquid staking derivatives are available for Polkadot, Polygon, Solana, and definitely Ethereum as well. Cardano doesn't need them. Binance Smart Chain or BNB Chain, BNB Coin has it as well. So I'll just go through um, the different providers here. So get the uh, application downloaded and then go to your accounts like this. Make sure that you've got some coins in here um, by going to the account and adding the account so you get an address and then you can go over to receive and go through continue, get your address on the device and then get some coins into your wallet. Now from here, what we want to do is link our ledger device up with a blockchain wallet that we can use DeFi with. The uh, chain wallets that I just showed you, some of them can work, but some of them don't. Most of the time people will download something like MetaMask for most chains that will work. If you have something like Solana, you'll need Phantom Wallet. Um, but you can make that decision dependent on which chain that you have. I'm going to show you with MetaMask because most chains will use MetaMask. So what we can do here is go to metamask.io, download MetaMask, install it. If you don't know how, I'll leave that uh, video in the description. But what we have from there, um, we should be set up with something like this with your MetaMask account. Now, you're going to have to link your ledger to the MetaMask. So what you can do is go up to the top right hand corner and then go down to connect hardware wallet. If you click that, it will give you the option to connect a ledger and then make sure it's plugged in and it's an unlocked and everything. Press continue and then that will just link up your ledger with your MetaMask wallet. Really importantly is that your MetaMask now is a software wallet that lets you interact with blockchains and applications, but it has your ledger address on there, which is obviously the most important thing because you want to keep all of your coins on your ledger.
So now we have our ledger linked up with something like MetaMask or Phantom Wallet, we can use applications to stake and get those tokens in our wallet and start accruing value. So for example, for Lido, what you're gonna to want to do is download MetaMask or Phantom Wallet, Phantom Wallet for Solana, MetaMask for the other chains you can see here. As an example, we're gonna stake Ethereum right here. So what you can do is press stake now. And then what you have to do is link up your ledger metamask so up in the top right hand corner it will say connect wallet connect up your metamask and that's with your ledger account with your ledger address now from here you'll need some ethereum or you know polygon whatever supported chain it is in your account and then you can have that as a balance you just press max or whatever it may be you can see i've got some eth in here press submit now what you're doing here through your ledger device is staking with this provider. So they do all the background staking stuff and they will give you a secondary token known as staked Ethereum. On the Matic chain, it's staked Matic. Um, on Sol, it's staked Sol. This is a token that's separate, that's in your wallet now, and it is accruing staking rewards. Um, so you have to go through the blockchain transaction. So just press submit. Metamask will come up in the right hand side here and you pay a small gas fee. So one of the main things is you need enough of the base layer token in order to pay some extra fees if you want to move things around. So you will need ETH or SOL in your ledger device sitting there for some gas. So don't do the whole lot because you, then you'll have to transfer in some more coins to pay for the gas fees. So what you now have after that is the staking token in your ledger device locked up in your in your ledger or on the blockchain and that is accruing staking rewards. A competitor to Lido which does some other chains is Stada. They've been adding way more chains recently. So you can see here Polygon, BNB coin. I'm just gonna show you uh, BNB for example. So if I click on stake now, up in the top right hand corner, you can connect your MetaMask again, make sure that's your ledger device and have your BNB tokens on there. And then you can go ahead and stake with them right here. Um, so you can, put in the amount of BNB that you want to stake. And then they will give you something called BNB X, which is that staking token. It accrues staking rewards, but it's a separate token in your ledger device. So those liquid staking providers, they essentially give you some options of getting the staking rewards, but you have a liquid token that you can get out of right away and still hold it in your ledger. There are some downsides though, like for example, you have to trust the smart contracts that they've written and your tokens are tied up in a smart contract. And so you just wanna make sure that that is safe. So if you don't want to rely on those smart contracts or those providers, just use the chain staking option that I showed you. You can actually use liquid staking directly in Ledger as well. And so I'll show you how to do that now. You can go to the Discover tab right here. So if you click on Discover, these are some applications that you can use um, right in Lido, the f uh, right in the uh, Ledger, sorry. So the first one is Lido here. So like I just showed you on Lido, it's exactly the same. If you go to Lido, press continue, it's basically an API where they have the, you know, Lido site within Ledger. And you can use Ethereum right here, just Ethereum for now, but there, you know, there's no support for the other chains. It's exactly the same thing and you can do it right within your ledger. So you don't need MetaMask. You can actually do it right here. Press the amount that you want to stake and that will go through. Now, like it says down here, get a 0.18% discount by buying stake teeth on one inch. Remember, these staking derivatives are separate tokens that accrue staking rewards. And so you can just buy them on the open market and you don't need to go through all the rigmarole of setting up the chain wallet. For now, you can only do that for stake teeth with Lido. What we're gonna do though is come out and go into the Discover tab, then you're gonna to want to uh, go through with an exchange. You can use Paraswap, that's a DEX aggregator, or you can use one inch. I prefer to use one inch, that's just personal preference. Go through to continue, and you'll see it right in your ledger device. Now this is a decentralized exchange aggregator. You can go to the one inch website, but you can also do it directly in your ledger live. And as an example up here, you can set up Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, or Ethereum. All of those chains you can use with one inch through Ledger. So I'm on the Polygon network here. Let's say I had some Matic in my account. What you can do is come up and find a liquid staking derivative. Now, Staked Matic is one, or Matic X from Stata Labs is one as well. And you can see that down here, liquid staking Matic. So what you can do actually, instead of going through the staking, is just essentially swap your Matic 
for some Matic X or staked Matic. And that is a staking derivative. So you accrue those staking rewards and you can do that right in Ledger and then go to your accounts and you can see that as a separate token. So if you go to accounts right here, um, you'll obviously have to accept that transaction on your Ledger device. But with these accounts, if you expand them, you'll then see that liquid staking derivative right in your Ledger if it is supported in Ledger. Um, and that will be accruing staking rewards for you right in your device. If you need some more specific guides for MetaMask or the other chain wallets and everything, I've got those linked in the description and you can get those deposit bonuses via those links down there as well. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.